Yeah, have been, we have been long enough into this economic crisis to understand that we cannot simply bail ourselves out of a crisis or stimulate our way out of a crisis or print money our way out of a crisis. But what we can do is to equip more people with better skills to compete collaborate and connect to drive our economies forward. Our data show a very clear link between skills and employment, skills and inclusive growth, giving more people the tools to contribute to our economies. And that means we need to recognize the kind of skills that matter for economic success. We need to ensure that we provide the education and training over the life cycle of people that equips them with the right skills. We need to activate the skills, ensuring that people actually deploy their talent, that they have the incentives and the support to deploy their talent to the labor market. And finally, matching demand and supply. That's perhaps the most important challenge these days, to ensure that we actually use the kind of skills that we have in the most effective way to actually promote growth and promote the economic success of individuals in our countries. That means figuring out what the demand of skills is, matching that with the kind of skills people have, and, and raising, uh, moving from a low skills equilibrium where employers hire maybe cheap labor and employers don't have the right skills, to an equilibrium where everybody uses their skills at the maximum potential.